Yerzy Borovchok is still drawn to the gates of the former Gdansk shipyard. As a 22-year-old, he worked closely with Lech Wałęsa to organize the strikes that ultimately forced the communists to negotiate. Back then, I'd selected two bearded colleagues who looked like Cuban revolutionaries. They carried Wałęsa on their shoulders to the gate and helped him up on the car. The people shouted, get Lech up, get Lech up. For Borovchuk, these are unforgettable memories of Wałęsa as the strong, world-renowned labor activist who stood up to the communists and won a Nobel Peace Prize. But there have long been rumors that he was a government spy in the early 1970s. Now, a letter of intent has surfaced that supposedly confirms this, signed by Wałęsa, codenamed Bolek. And receipts have emerged. But Borovchuk doubts their authenticity. He says Wałęsa only talked to the communists. There was a captain who implored Wałęsa to ensure no blood would be spilled. That's how it started. Wałęsa never denounced anyone and never accepted money for working with the government. I'm sure of this. Memorial plaques commemorate the opposition members and their fight for freedom. To this day, Borovchak is still friends with Wałęsa and still admires him. He was the most dynamic out of all of us. He was a leader with charisma. Borovchuk is following the allegations being made against Wałęsa. When they emerged, Wałęsa was touring Latin and North America, giving talks. His blog documents the glamorous receptions, as well as his denial of the accusations and his first interview. I never worked as a spy. I never accepted any money. These are the facts. Borovchuk visits the Solidarity Trade Union Museum. He still believes in Wałęsa and hopes he will weather the attacks. To Borovchuk, what counts is what Wałęsa achieved. Those were beautiful days in August 1980. Poland was free. Thanks to Lech Wałęsa's leadership, no blood was spilled. The negotiations made it clear that we were one big family, and that reduced the tensions. He recalls how everything seemed promising at first. In 1989, Wałęsa had negotiated with the communists, as did the Kaczynski twins. Here, Lech Kaczynski is seen with a mustache. Wałęsa and the Kaczynskis became enemies. When Wałęsa was accused of spying, Lech Kaczynski quickly accepted it as true. His brother, Jarosław Kaczynski, leading the conservative PIS party, marshaled these accusations to discredit the entire democratic transition. Borovchuk says it was a deliberate campaign. And so a recent demonstration for civil liberties morphed into a pro Wałęsa rally. Spy or no spy? It's war. war. Someone else wants to be the hero. Years ago, Pyotr Gontarczyk published a book accusing Wałęsa of having been an informant. He feels vindicated now that the new documents have surfaced, even though their authenticity is disputed. Back then, critics of Wałęsa were decried as evil liars and vermin. Those were hard times. But despite this, he's still disappointed by how the accusations are being instrumentalized politically. It's not all right to deny Wałęsa's leading role back then and to pretend he worked for the Secret Service and the Communists all his life. There's no evidence for this. As the leader of Solidarity, he was independent. Jerzy Borovchak approaches Wałęsa's old electrical workshop. Borovchuk has vowed to fight for Wałęsa's honor and for the honor of those who fought along with solidarity. Borovchuk is certain Wałęsa will be remembered as a liberator and for nothing else.